After years of trial, Chief Justice Kenneth Benjamin struck out charges against former ministers of government Joe Coyi and Florento Marin. A tort of misfeasance charge fell apart today after the chief magistrate expunged evidence from witness statements. The original allegation was that Koyi had some interest in Chiop Enterprises, which is owned by businessman Colin Flowers. The two former ministers of government were alleged to have transferred 56 parcels of public land to a company beneficial to them below a market value of approximately $1 million. Initially, the then Chief Justice, Abdullahi Kante, found that there was no malfeasance on the part of the ministers, but the Court of Appeal reversed that decision. So Koyi and Marin took it to the CCJ, and that court, in June of 2011, dismissed the appeal by Koyi and Marin. But the matter then made it back to the courtroom of current Chief Justice Benjamin, who struck out the charge. Joe Koyi, breathing the air of vindication, called a press conference this afternoon to announce his innocence. The Chief Justice struck out the charge. And the grounds that there was no proof of any loss to the government and that there was no evidence to substantiate the government's claim of a loss. Our lawyers, in my case, Mr. Eamon Courtney, did make an application before the court yesterday that the witness statements were violating the Evidence Act and they were violating the court procedure rules. They were hearsay evidence, they were lacking in expert opinion, they were irrelevant. And that hearing was held yesterday. I could say that the representative for the claimant, who is from the Solicitor General's office, admitted in the court yesterday that there was in fact violations of the court procedure rules and the evidence act. We went back to court this morning to hear the decision of the Chief Justice upon that application that those statements were not in compliance and that they should be struck out in substance of the four witnesses Four public officers, there were public officers, two still remain public officers, and two are no longer. And there were senior public officers. I will come back to those public officers. But this morning when we went back to the court, the judge did rule that those witness statements in fact violated the Evidence Act and the court procedure rules and the substance of them were to be expunged, using his term, and excised from the witness statements. Senior public officers, one was then the Commissioner of Land, Ms. Noreen Fairweather. One is presently the head of the Department of the Environment, Mr. Martin Allegria. Mr. Talbot Brackett, who is no longer there, but is working with the DFC. And Mr. Roland Ovias, who is no longer there, is working somewhere else. It is my firm and strong opinion that they purged. They did purge in that case.